Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing wooden style UI. So let's get started. We're gonna go to our rounded rectangle tool. Change the radius to about 10. 10 probably works. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's drag it out and we're gonna change the color. So, all right, so I have my color here. Now you want to take out your pencil and make a new layer. And I'm just gonna make some some shapes like this. Just click and hold. Hold Alt and click here to get rid of that. Just like that. Shape. And we are going to make this darker. Uh, maybe over here. And also over here. All right. Now that you have this, we are going to make the actual cuts. So make a new layer. So on your pencil, just click like that, hit shape. I'm going to take this and just put this right above the right angle. Hold Alt and just click in between to so clip it in. Change the color, make sure it's um, darker. Right click, go to blending options and go in the shadow. Make sure it chokes all the way up. And if you can see over here, see that little shadow just like that drop shadow spread all the way up and take this and just make it brighter now we can take this and we could duplicate it all over the the button maybe over here here works now take it your pencil again make a new layer clip it in just click and drag go across that's we are just going to make this brighter. Alright. And now, blending options on this layer. Go to drop shadow. There we go. And I'm going to make this a darker color. Now we are going to group everything up. So just click on the top layer. Hold shift. Control G. Control J. And then Control E. Blending options on this. And just add a stroke to finish it off. just like that now with this over here um i'm gonna duplicate it just rasterize it if you want you can add a gradient overlay make sure it's going from black to white change this to overlay just make it look more like a button i guess maybe add a drop shadow make it stand out something like this and uh yeah there you go that's how you make a wooden button in adobe photoshop um you can make robots UI using this. It's pretty much anything you want to. If this helps you at all, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, check out our website. It's on the screen right here, robloxvisuals.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases.